Hey guys, this week on Awesome Cast, Chachi returns the glass. We find out how his final days with the device were. Chilla comes in with his new pebble. He finally got it. Uh, I uh, hurt my neck playing Frogger on glass. Uh, all this plus Android on, on your computer and so much more. Microsoft, hey, something happened with that. Awesome Cast, stick around. This edition of Awesome Cast is brought to you by PittsburghOnVideo.org. Check out the best videos from Pittsburgh all in one place. PittsburghOnVideo.org. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Gentlemen, Chilla has pebble. I have a pet rock. And I have glass back again, not completely unmarred. We don't know if Chachi's fault or not. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. There's hey, no it's the way. awesome cast. It's 165, guys, and we're ready to talk tech. We got a lot of show and tell today. We're going to see how the rest of the week went with Chachi, if he's still uh, on board with this whole glass idea or not, um, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, Mike Sorg here in the studios in Pittsburgh, PA, and we got a studio full of people. Like I said, uh, uh, well, we saw he's got a watch. He's got a pet rock. He's got, he's Chilla. That's me. John Chichilla, at Chilla on the Twitters. And we'll check in with that. We'll check in with that. Uh, and also with us back in the studio is Chachi. How you doing? What up? At Chachi says on the Twitter. Now glassless. I got wide. But yeah, that's fine. Weird. You can... Keep your Google. Glass. You're gonna keep my Google Glass. I don't want. We'll get. We'll, we'll get onto that. We'll get onto that. So hey, hey, this is the awesome casting. We're at uh, uh, SorgatronMedia.com to catch up all the last, uh, all the old episodes and everything. We're on YouTube. We're on iTunes. Uh, follow us on Google Plus, Facebook, on iTunes. We've been having some great conversations, uh, especially on the Google Plus. Uh, amongst other places uh so yeah check all that stuff out and get in on the nerdy conversation here uh from steel city and abroad uh so let's get right into it chachi with the experiment is over I, we got a little bit of a glimpse of what your thoughts of it uh what what uh wh how did the rest of the week go you were you were you were praising pretty highly the, the glass after a couple of days last week yeah and i was out doing things and yeah yeah. Um I it was it was a busy schedule, so uh Yeah, it it was fine. Um I have I don't have real major problems with Google Glass as an idea. Okay. Um right now, however, no, you can keep it. Okay. I, I, I don't really need it. What's the difference? Because, I mean, again, like the beginning of the week, you were like, if this was available tomorrow and had a cell chip in every, and everything, it could replace my phone, and I'm cool with that. What changed through the rest of the week? Uh, what the device actually is. Okay. Which entails? Yeah, It's not a hands-free device, as okay. it's led to be. Um, mm -hmm. it, which... It, it, not for everything, basically, right? It, no, it's not. Um, what, what they need to do is they need to completely incorporate the voice command. Okay. Um, from the head nod to me being able to say next mm -hmm. or left. It could be coming. Right. And, and that's why, I'm, uh, as of now, you can keep it. But uh, Because like the way I pictured it or the way I thought I'd be using it, uh, it would, like... Be playing video games, head nod, see uh, the timeline, and like I should have been able to turn my head or use a voice command to move, so I don't have to stop playing video games. Yeah, and, but and I, I I had to stop playing video games. Is this a matter of how many tweets you get? Yes. Okay. So okay. Okay. So if you're like, how, how much? Now you you can only have so many tweets go to this thing. How many notifications did you activate? How many people are you following that go straight to the device? The limit. Yeah. The which is? I I believe it's a hundred or two hundred. Hundred two hundred. Okay, that's probably the extreme case there. I have like I forty. I am on Twitter because I want the information given to me. Okay. I should not have to cut back mm -hmm. on the information given to me. To fit a particular device. All right, well, do, all right. you th do you think the limit, though? Do you think the limits some kind of do the tweets queue? What do you mean? So, like, if if I tweeted you, then Chachi tweeted you. Are you oh, going to no, go through nothing, twice? No, it has nothing to do with 
um, the device. Mm-hmm. This is a limit. So you think it's a space limit. It's not a space limitation I of what the a, device think, can cache. I think it's a functionality no. of Twitter. Yeah, this is a Twitter. He issue. has too much okay. to process in in Twitter, this. In this, he needs that screen to see everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. Twitter by right? default only allows you to have so many people sent to your no, your mobile device. Okay. Um, your oh, because it's acting as a mobile device, not as an actual yes. Twitter client. Right. Yes. Okay. Right. So if that had a uh, a Twitter client on it, then maybe uh, that would be mm. different, <clears throat> but it doesn't. No, not not at this point. Um, so this is one of those still before it's time kind of ideas, right? Right. And another thing is, if I'm sitting around watching TV or, or hanging out with Chris, yeah. it, like I do, there's no reason to wear it. Okay. Because in the amount of time that I can turn that on, and it starts scrolling through it. I can have my phone in my hand and start scrolling, scrolling through it. Okay. So I, I it's it's it, it's the type of device where you have to be constantly on the go. However, at the same time, it doesn't allow you to be constantly on the go because if you're constantly connected via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, like you often are, mm-hmm. your battery is going to die. Yeah, if well, you, well if I think you, more so the Bluetooth. If you use it as much as I do, the, yeah. the battery's going to die in an hour, mm-hmm. and what's the point in even having I think it? The, I, and I think the use case that it works with this amount of battery and everything is it lasts all day if I'm not taking pictures and videos all the time. I wasn't. Right? But you're still receiving how many tweets through the day and always checking on it and always turning that screen on, and that takes what's a little bit of What's the point in having it if you don't? Always check it. But isn't this the same problem we had when we first had iPhones? That thing like hardly made it through the day if you actually used it. This is the problem we've had with smartphones for ages, and this is a brand Not new this device. Bad. Really? Not really? This Did bad. you have? What well, really? Your G one after using it all day? How was it? Well, again, you had a lasted longer than an hour. Well, yeah. Wait, this thing lasts an hour? If that. You had to been doing a lot more than that because I I've had like tweets I all day. I used the device. Mm-hmm. Constantly, nonstop. <laughs> no, I, I. There's a lot of penis. Would I would take a call, <laughs> on the call, tilt my head up, scroll through the timeline. Yeah. A few minutes later, do the same thing. What's the point in having a mobile device with all this information coming to it if you're not going to read it? Mm. I like being connected. Yeah. This is why my cell phone is always in my hand. Mm-hmm. I don't care what the general public thinks about me being on my cell phone. Mm. Because I know that with the cell phone, I'm doing things that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Mm-hmm. Hell, and, and this is the point that I use more often than not when someone brings up the fact that the cell phone's always in my hand. Sorg, how much money have I raised with Chachi Plays over the past three years? Uh, I think we broke $10,000 after this year. Exactly. You want to know where the main base of Chachi Plays is? Your Twitter account. There you go. Right here. So if somebody says, why are you on your phone all all the time? You say, I'm making money for kids. And it's the way you do it. It's the way your personality is. You have your own, like, personality, brand equity, however you want to call it, in, in, you know, social media terms. This is is why I am where I am. Yeah. That's all there is to it. And so if you can't translate that to this device yet. It's not worth it. And I think, and I think, I think, um... And I think your case, you're a very special case with that um, because of the, how you use Twitter. Well, I think it's not because I think most people dip in and dip out, right? Anyway, right. I, I, and I, I think generally that's the case. The most I have to be people. constantly connected, or I lose that's my you. audience. That's you. That's you. Well, you're you're very into your brand and that, and being on all the time. If I'm not constantly connected, I, I lose my audience, and if I lose my audience, mm-hmm. there goes everything I tried to do. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's gone. No, I could definitely see that. And I think that's where, I mean, phones Sorry. have really come a long way in it as far as battery. They've come a long way just in everything they do. And, and obviously, this is a beta product. It's not even version one, I, I, per I, se. Pretty I much. give it that. Right. But, I um, mean. It's coming. And this is the whole point, reason it's out there. So, it can get in. Uh, I, that's why I wanted you to have it for a week because I knew you were going to use this device far differently than I do. Right, because I'm and just using this as an extension of how I use my phone, and I'm not nearly on it as much as you are. It's 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 how technology is. Mm-hmm. It, I, like you said, 
I use the device far different than you yeah. You are. I would use the device far differently than Chilla mm-hmm. is. However, you don't, you're not a big fan of your Nexus tablet right now. It's growing on me, but right? I, I, I just keep getting stuck. You put that things. in my hands? Yeah. And that's a bigger extension of this. Yeah. With which means I would love battery it. Like, right. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. means I would love it. Mm-hmm. You put that in Chilla's hand, and that's a different opinion. This is how technology works. Mm-hmm. It, it, that's why the market is so wide. There, there are so many things. There's so for much so, choice. Yeah, there are so many things that meet so many it's needs. It's okay if you don't like one thing because there's so many options. Right. For so, instance, you don't like how this works. Chilla, you have another option. Right. I have and, the pebble. And I, I was looking With at no it. And I would need, I, I mean, I would lean more towards having a pebble. That, when, I, I could see, I, yes, I, I see <clears> that actually. That, that, that completely but, makes sense. Now, so with Android, there's a lot more you can do with the Pebble. I realize that, and it's due to a couple of different things. The the which is the same problem with the glass, to be honest. Right. So so, but now what I'm realizing is because I'm on the iOS seven beta, and they've started to open up Bluetooth stacks for notifications. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if everyone's getting it because I haven't seen anyone else really post anything about iOS. But like, I, I get my. I don't think they're allowed to right now yet. That's true too. Probably. So. Well, I would think that in the in the developer forums, I even went through the the Apple developer forums to look for people posting about because mm-hmm. they people talk about devices they're interacting with. Mm-hmm. Like I'm getting Facebook updates or notifications on my device. Yeah. Whereas you really don't see that on the iOS side. There's a lot of interesting things you can do with the Android side, but it seems to be more of a hodgepodge of Load this app on Pebble, then then load an extra third party app on, on phone. Android yeah. and have Tasker. So there running. seems like a lot of rigmarole to get this this is not an everyday solution for regular people. Now now here, so but as far as like basic notification, mm-hmm. it works great. Yeah. I get I get my um, text messages, I get phone notification. I can leave my my phone plugged in at the other end of my desk with head with my Bluetooth headphones turned on. I can control podcasts I'm listening to. I can pause. I can play. If I get a phone call, I can I can pick up the phone call without reaching over. Mm-hmm. So I, I do like it in that aspect. Now, the other thing I've noticed, too, is, is that <clears throat> with text messaging, I liked it while I was driving mm-hmm. because I don't have to try to reach down and pull the phone out of my pocket while I'm driving or pull it out of the center console. I'm driving. I just look at my just watch. Look down. And that's kind of the same. That's kind of similar to how I feel with this thing too. Cause I feel like as text messages came in, I'm not really taking my ro- eyes off the road. I'm just peeking up. And, and when, anytime I say that, like, you know, the, the, the topic came up on that, that talk show last week or two weeks ago. And they're like, really, you're going to be talking to read text while you're driving. I'm like, well, not really, but I mean, I think, Anybody, and he's like, well, people are going to be wreck- driving off cliffs with this thing. And I'm like, no. idiots are, yes, yeah. but idiots well, are already doing that with cell phones. It's no, it different, was, it's no different than looking at your stereo and seeing what station you're tuned to exactly. or anything like that. That's you know, the thing. I say, you're playing or if you're looking at your GPS or your, what, yeah. what speed, how fast are you going? You right. glance down and If look you're at the, the kind of person that already has five fender benders because you can't check your radio appropriately, you should not get one of these. You should not get one of these. You should not have your cell phone on in a car. Maybe you shouldn't have a license at this point. Lock I, your I, cell phone in your trunk. <laughs> Before getting in the car. Toss it in a glove box. Yeah. I think that should be the rule. And like I should have about, a little mark on my license that says if I get pulled over and my, my cell phone is not in my glove box <laughs> or powered off, then you get an extra ticket because you're not responsible enough to do it. Remember, it's a privilege, guys. Yes. <laughs> but I look at it as like those quick notifications. I can quickly glance down at it. In a meeting at work, it's, it's more... It, yes. It, it, it's more <laughs> acceptable for me to glance at my watch mm-hmm. than for me to pull out my phone and... Slide to open and, and type in a password. Ask you, and, I honestly don't know. Is there really a fashion like? Is it more t- like receiving, or is there an input on that? There's input now. Obviously, you only have four buttons to work with, so you're kind of limited in input. You're not. I, I can't dictate to it. I can't. There's no keyboard. There's mm-hmm. no. It's there's not like a, touch a selector, screen. and that's it. There's a, pretty much a selector, and that's it. Mm-hmm. But like, I can go in and I can open up an app that I loaded and I can view my calendar, Twitter, I can control volume on my my phone, I can look at my reminders, I can 
do GPS type activities. I can the the one cool thing there's an actually a Find My Phone <laughs> app. So if you can't like you your phone's in the cushions or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You tap it. So, so you it, have a device you're not going to lose. And it sets off the uh, it sets off a ping on your you're phone. You talking about the iPhone or an Android? This <laughs> is on I think it's on both. Okay. Um but like I can And obviously my phone's in my pocket. Yes, but still, that, that's awesome. But until I find my phone. If you're the person that always loses it in the house, like I do, like I don't know how many times I come down here to grab something from the studio or change the, the, the laundry and I sat down the phone somewhere mm -hmm. stupid. And I've walked around two of the floors of the house looking for where the hell did I put this thing and also we hear it coming from the floorboards. You know, I mean, that's, I, I think it's no things. What's the, uh, the capabilities with that? Is it just a, a pop-up notification? It's a pop-up notification, and they're not cached. So if you... And that's why you're asking about these. Yeah, that's why I was asking about those. Cause so if I get a text message and then another text message, okay. unless there's something no. I haven't okay. figured out yet... And to answer your question for this, it, <clears throat> like I said, it's a timeline. Not so much if you turn it off, you don't. I don't think you get like what you missed. Okay. But it's what you've received while it's on and connected. Uh, sometimes I do get past stuff if I reconnect to a Wi-Fi, though. Okay. You've seen that? Um, so when I it will it will update that. Uh, it only happens if you get a new, uh, like for instance, Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. When I had a Bluetooth to my phone, um, if I received a new text message and there was previous messages in that stream, mm -hmm. it loads all of it. Yeah, not just what you've received. So it's like a you. it reloads back the same oh, thread. Yeah, yeah, only if you get a new one. Okay. Yeah, but. Because, I mean, there were times where um, I would, because uh, I, I would only get text messages on my way home from work, um, not tweets, because there's no Wi-Fi, and I don't have a hotspot like Sword does in his pocket. Um, pocket. But you can so, get an SMS because you have the Android phone with the tether. Right. Yeah. So it, my text messages would That's come cool. through. But then when I got home, all of the tweets and news would overtake that. Yeah, yeah. And so if I shut it off right then and there, the text messages were no longer and, there. And that's okay. why I, I think it's it's very clear this is not a by itself product yet. Just like, you're, you, would you really have your smart, smart watch without your smartphone at this point? I don't think, and I don't think they're meant to replace anything at this point. Um, maybe this eventually. Maybe. But I think there's a couple iterations before that happens. I think what comes out next year does not have a cell chip in it. I don't know. I, I don't know. For that, iteration. for that for that iteration, first iteration, for the first iteration, I don't know. Because now that they have the mic, the the nano sim, and a lot of the different technology, and it's you could get I think that. It's a, I think it's a price point thing. I think this is an additional thing. I think it's just like when you get your iPad, you could try iPad with a Wi-Fi and without. If if somebody's, I think some people would be perfectly fine with. Oh, I can just tether that to my phone. I don't need yet another data plan. I'll take that option. I think that's the way to go. And, and if that's the case, why put that chip in there and add to the cost if you don't have to? And it really, you seen it, Chachi, you saw how the battery was just on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You imagine this thing with the cell chip in it? But the cell chip's going to be less they would fix that. Less, less of a drain than Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. You can't put a bigger battery in this for one thing. You don't know that. The, the, where are you going to put a bigger battery? On the, other, on the yeah, other arm. On the other, on the other, side. other arm, on the other side. I, I, I mean, don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's ways that they could figure out a way to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm just finding the more and more I use technology, the more and more I want it to have its own chip. Yeah. And when you, you, want get, to be, you want it to be a talk. When you get to the family share plans. Yeah. And you're adding a device for ten dollars a month. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'll pay an extra ten dollars a month to have this device connected all the time, because what I'm finding now is, like with my phone, yeah, it's great to tether, but then I'm draining the battery on my phone. The more I use that additional device, true. So you're you're killing two devices. You're killing your main device just to just to have connectivity on that second device. And maybe that's where they say, you know what, we're not going to like... I would rather see them say Wi-Fi only, Wi-Fi or cellular, no Bluetooth. Okay. Because, what, I mean, most phones can be a hotspot now. Mm -hmm. So just make your phone a hotspot I and think, don't do Bluetooth. I think it depends tether. on the functionality because I think you get more functionality through the Bluetooth. Why? Don't you? You're like, like some of the newer Bluetooths? 
Well, I guess Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah for you the could, same reason you were talking about with the new iOS and like right. with Apple. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I, I don't know. I really kind of see this as a version of that on your wrist. Oh, I agree, and that's that. Obviously, yours like obviously more than a, a more, cell phone but, replacement. Right. I really don't think of it as a cell phone replacement. I think of it in another way that I can get my tweets and emails and correspond. And and I think this is more intriguing to me because of the camera and the always there. And and I you know. It, it, an entire week of having to pull my cell phone out of my pocket just seemed the most frustrating thing. Are you seeing that with with the few days we've had with that? Actually, yeah. That's yeah. the weird part. Isn't, is, that, is isn't that, that odd? Like, okay, I don't want to... And the other weird thing, or maybe it's just... I don't want to be distracted as much at work. Yeah. So, and as stupid as it sounds, I mean, I'm typing on my keyboard at work. I'm, I'm doing my thing. I want to change music. I mm -hmm. I reach down, hit the button, and, and I'm on to the next podcast or song. Like you want to I'm do, not, you want to multitask, but you don't want to be taken so far out of that one main task. Right. You know, I mean, it's one thing to, uh, you know, bob my head, see what that tweet was, see what that email was, and go back to you know, not even take my hands off the keyboard. You know, um, with what I'm doing, it, like, you know, a lot of times, you know, I'm in the middle of editing something. I get a thing. I'm like, oh, was that important? Um, OK, no, you know, back to and I, I haven't taken my hand off whatever uh, method I was sculpting the footage, you know, mm -hmm. uh, on a timeline, you know, because that 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 would happen all the time. I remember I remember my old work, uh, you know, I'm editing something. I get an I am from somebody in company and even going over to that takes me out of that thing in another window. You know, um, I mean, well, this idea of Chachi, you, you're talking about like, you know, you're taking calls and then you go check on on Twitter's. You're doing what? You're doing that right there where you're looking down that as they say at Google, that demasculating method of looking down at your phone. Do you feel demasculated? No, no, <laughs> not at all. See, I almost feel like Chachi would be better off with his phone with like the a bluetooth keyboard that he could switch back and forth it kind of seems like he it, it, the way or, he the way he uses twitter he's kind of like a power phone power user more than mm -hmm. most people it's kind of like the same way that some people uh get more out of uh you know a, a tablet device than a cell phone because they can just get more work done on it like this is the step down from a smartphone that's a step down from a star right. phone. it goes kind of like smart we call it smart face as a smart glass. I well, wearable. I think it's just wearable word. computing. Yeah, okay, we could go. I okay, just, I just wearable. I wouldn't call it smart at this point. Okay, well, it still is. You have a smart watch. Then what's this thing? It does as, as much as that does. Probably that's a bit finished. more. That's finished. Yeah. I don't think it's so finished I, as you and think. And that's the, the so so to I, comment I on finished, the finish finished. Part, no, 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 no. So everything I hear about smart watch, even this Galaxy Gear that's supposed to be announced this week tomorrow. Is, it, tomorrow, it, it, as of this recording on Tuesday night, um, the third, uh, it's it's this is going to be the first iteration. They're still working on it. You guys are basically going to be beta testing, just like when you got the first Android phone, just like you got the first, you know, this, that, or the other thing. Um, yeah, I, I think I think this whole thing is 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 brand new. And if you get anything within the next two years, it is far from finished. And I I would kind of agree with that comment because. So you get the phone and it comes in a box. There's no mm -hmm. manual, no nothing. It just says go to go get the app from your app store, and it, it there's a there's a logo on the outside of the box. Yeah, and <laughs> so I mean the ordering process was horrific at best. Mm -hmm. They told me a new I would, company just like Ulya yeah. had the same kind of problem. Well, here I ordered this in February. Yeah, I got it on Friday. You got it on Friday. <laughs> but the nice thing, obviously, hey, end of August. That's they, they they didn't bill me. I got the notification that, hey, it was my turn in line. I go out there. I fill it out. Fill out my credit card information, it whatever. Like, it sounds like the glass process. It, I get an email back saying, your, your thing's been confirmed. We'll email you when your device ships. Okay, so I never get an email when my device ships. So I'm like, huh. So I go out and click on my status link that where I went to show that I had properly filled in credit card information that could be billed. Mm -hmm. Now I notice in actually light gray letters at the very bottom of the web page, it has my tracking number. So it's white, it's light gray on white. Then I had to copy and paste that because What's no browser would even pick that up at the bottom. What's that about? Luckily I knew it was a UPS tracking yeah. thing. 
plugged it into UPS, and I got my device. In the I, I could so then track less it. Less than novel approach to the situation. They're here. they're not ready for. I no. would say prime time. No. Nor are they ready for even someone. I would say mediocre tech savvy. So I mean, loading apps, you have to load an app from the from your mobile browser into their app. And then you tell their app to install it. To yeah, the device. this isn't something that you're going to sell like this. If this was an i version of this device, uh -huh. you're not selling it at the iPhones, the the, the, the Apple Store. No. It, it's far far too complicated. What do you, even surprises me? Like Best Buy has started to pick it up now. Best Buy can't keep any devices in stock, from what I've I've read and it's seen. It's all the gadget heads like us are getting it. But it's still, it's not ready for your average consumer. I mean, it's nice. I mean, I have all kinds of like cool watch faces. I have the, the Avengers, Iron Man, another Iron Man, an animated cool looking one, like your old school watch face. That stuff's cool. But even that, like you could tell people are making, I mean, the watch faces, there's hundreds of watch faces out there for you to download. And a lot of them don't render correctly. They, the time wraps, it, it, it it's just not ready for prime time. All right, uh, I'm about to experiment here, guys. Uh, hopefully, this thing doesn't crash. Well, my cool thing will work. A uh, 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 cool thing of the week. Um, they uh, they put out Glass Frogger, which apparently is just an HTML5 game that you could just play on any device. But it apparently does have controls involved. With uh, it's loading now, so uh, it, and it can hold on. You can go to glassfrogger.com. I'm going to try to pull it up here for the video, guys. So the big thing is, and this, and this is, again, the thing with the apps. The, okay, so I got Frog. I do have Frogger on, on my glass here. And you can see a little bit. This this is the page for it. No, is that you? Wait, what is this? What that is me. That is you. Okay. So, oh, I have noises. I think I just died. So, whoop, there you go. So, um... I saw a video of this, and apparently, I think I bobbed my head. Yep. I feel like I'm going to break my neck trying to play this game, and I just splatted. Can you move left to right? I can't really tell. I think you just move forward and hope for the best. Now, there's definitely noises. Now, this probably looks ridiculous. This is the, this is the part where I should bring down my, my Nexus to kind of show off what's happening. But it's basically like what you see here. Like you can actually play it uh, do, 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 if you're on like in a browser or whatever. This is basically what's going on. And, and here I can use the keys on this one. I don't even know how you do this. Maybe it doesn't work in browser, but apparently, yeah, you can use it on a cell phone or something. But I watched the video of somebody playing this thing, and and I am pretty much have to move my head pretty severely, and I just got splat run now, over by a car it, again. But wait a minute, if you set your head tilt to be lower on the glass configuration, oh, I wonder. Oh, hold down two fingers to pan and select links. Wait, so it's basically just running in a browser. It gave you a mm -hmm. link to load the browser it's running html5 but this is the problem with games isn't it like what's your controls going to be you have this touchpad here you have like the head nod kind of motion which is hardly even working uh let me see let me let me attempt to this is going to be an interesting demo to show off to new people checking out glass though mm -hmm. all right so let's let's do our head wake but that's still the head wake i think that's still let's let's, let's drop to like 10 degrees right I think it's probably a captivating demo. Uh, read more, view website. I'll probably have to wait for it to load again. Oh, no, it's loading pretty quick, actually. All right, so, no, I got to go. You got to go way up. Yep. I don't know It's if it's, like, the, the ferocity of the motion. Because a video I saw was just, like, it feels like you're throwing your head back. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, it feels like... Like, you know, remember back in the day when you would jump with Mario? I am dizzy right now from playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and I think I just jumped into... I smell a lawsuit. I, it, it's got to be. You're like, going to be able like, to sweep like glass frog. necks. Yes. These, <laughs> it's like the seizure warnings the, on video games. Not to games. mention, they, they completely, like, I don't think they have the rights to Frogger with this thing. So, um, 
I, yeah. I, well, I, wait, is Frogger? It's like Atari, which is now owned by Hasbro. Which is now but that's owned by old Bay. enough that it probably doesn't fall under that. copyright somebody, law. Somebody owns Pong. You know, I, I really think it's, a, it's an Atari thing or Midway, probably, which got sold off to Warner Brothers or whatever. Um, somebody has Frogger. Somebody put Frogger out for the PlayStation 2 at least. Somebody's going to sue these guys if it gets big enough. So I, I don't know. And now they have everything at 10, per, t uh, 10 degree angle. Everything's popping on in my eye <laughs> no matter where I move my head. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. Um, so I, I don't know. And so this is our kind of promise of gaming as I you watch me reset my... Why not have a Bluetooth like, controller? I think that's going to be the thing. But I mean, how much, you know... Well, I, I don't think Google's going to be afraid of that, you know. Well, and Google's proven that they haven't been afraid of that. I mean, if you look at if you look at any Android device, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard mm -hmm. and a Bluetooth mouse to it. Yeah, and it works. Yeah, you so get why a, not? You, you get a cursor. And again, down the line, we'll get these features. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, let's, you know, if you want to go by the old, uh, uh, is it finished? Is there copy and paste on this yet? But what, again, you're going to need some kind of peripheral device to copy yeah, and paste. exactly. Maybe. Maybe. And I don't think it's going to be that. I, I think it's a different... It is wholly a different way of computing. And I think we're, we're trying to put apply these old ideas of how I use like my cell phone, my computer, my email, and trying to apply it to this device. I think you're going to find you get this for different reasons than my everyday, already what I'm doing, computing. Maybe they have a way to... Maybe they will have a way to very precisely track your eyeball to be able to pinpoint that too. supposedly that's there but be able to exactly pinpoint mm -hmm. where you're looking and then you could do like select move your eye to scan we don't know copy we really don't know what this little sensor right here staring at my eyeball the entire time can do mm -hmm. we don't know can it read my retina for instance i don't think so i don't think it's that big it could be sometime in the future. Uh, it, it, you know, how much can it see that gaze? You know, we know that we can at least blink our eye and it does something, right? Yeah, and, or, and maybe it'll just be a calibration setting where it maybe, could... Maybe all it's detecting is emotion. Out. Well, how much text can you also fit on the screen? How many characters? Can you fit 140 characters on there? Uh, yeah, I see tweets. I mean, yeah. I, I think full tweets, full tweets mm -hmm. are, okay. are pretty decent. Remember, this is like a... What would they say? A 25-inch screen, screen at, 8 feet away. Yeah. You know, which that that screen over there, you guys can't mm -hmm. see our, our TV we have over here. But I mean, that's about uh, it's probably like six feet away from me. Right. But it, it is pretty much yeah, more or less the same way. You know, so I'm sure they could probably track your eye. Oh, I, like I said, it would have to be calibrated again. What's the sensitivity right? on this thing? Yeah. We don't know. Um, but they, you know, uh, the, the CMU guys really think that the technology they're developing the, to look and identify things can be easily applied to something like this. You know, it's got way more computing power than the 1991 version they showed me. You know, um, that's that's awesome. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's there's so much ahead on these things, uh, and I'm so glad to have it back on my face, Chachi. So yeah, it's fine. You can have it. <laughs> Keep it. Yours. I don't want it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Did you guys see? Uh, um, no, I haven't worn it since Sunday. I don't miss it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I uh, you guys see? Uh, uh, I tweeted about this earlier in the week. Um, you got Siri, right? Jill? I do. You do. Pull, pull up, pull up your phone. Oh, and, and uh, now I know what this. Actually you know where means. this is going. You know where this is going now. I, yeah, I don't know why I said Twitter in there. I meant Siri. Um, so uh, oh, just pull oh. up Siri and just say OK Glass. And make sure this hold up so we can hear that on the microphone. OK Glass. Do you have internet connection? Yeah, I do have internet. It's really slow. Maybe this won't work. Oh, no. Stop trying to strap me to your forehead, John. It won't work. So did you hear that? Yes, I heard That's that. That's my favorite response of his. <laughs> <laughs> and it did it. I did this like three times. To the point, or like that, it said like that's enough of that, and it actually made the button stop working for Siri. Huh. For like, how long? Like while I was on that screen, like how it takes up oh, the screen. Yeah, you had to go away. So if you go like, okay, glass. Oh, Let didn't do that. that. Okay, glass. So we can get a different. I'm response. not glass, and I'm just fine with that. 
There's another one, so you can do. Okay, Google. What would you like to search for, John? Really? Yeah, because they that, changed they, that because that they, it used to kind of give you, it kind of used to throw back. What's the Samsung one? S voice. I don't know how to activate it. Yeah, I, I was talking to somebody like last week that has it, and it was they were they were showing off like what their uh, daughter as a Samsung one. And she was showing off like, oh, I can do this, and I say this, and and we were kind of like comparing what it does versus Siri and <clears throat> I've, and, I've, and, 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 and and Google Voice or Bog, uh, yeah, the OK Google one. Well, uh, we we determined Chris and I determined that. Uh, Samsung really doesn't have a grudge against anyone because their <laughs> S voice doesn't really give snarky responses to certain things. I think I think that's just like a culture thing, you know. Um, well, is theirs so? How did, does S voice get processed? Where does it get processed? Yeah, that's the question too. Is it all on phone? Is, is it, it on server? Phone or, yeah. I mean, I keep forgetting. Like, like much like what, like I kind of said about you know when we got the update for Glass. I'm like, well, half these updates were things that were they were doing anyways. They were already pushing the Google Now stuff. That I saw new updates. Like I saw started seeing movies. I started seeing uh, different stuff for sports scores. Um, like that's something they do on the server side that gets pushed to this. I don't think they're doing much updating on this to make that happen. Uh, so that's it kind of surprised why. me. What's I think that? It's... Okay, Google Now. Google was up 1.59 percent. <laughs> it, it, it gave me their stocks. I was thinking. I, I don't remember what is it. Okay, Google. Um, I, I don't remember what the keyword is on the Moto X. I think X. it is Okay Google on the Moto X. So it's it, just, it, it just says, oh, what is, oh you want Google. What do you, okay. what do you, what do you I want I don't care about that first word. I, like, Google is the important word there. I mean, we're saying glass. That's It doesn't mm -hmm. have anything to do with glass. Um, but that, but that's something that, you know, they can do on the server. Like, Siri's doing the same thing. You're hitting the server. Google, you're hitting the server. That's why, like, you know, we talk about cloud computing. Um, all the more interesting things you can do with this thing, the Google Glass, is done with Google. And how it delivers it back to you, and they're interpreting that. We're seeing a more visual uh, response depending on what we search for at Google.com. You're seeing the same thing on your phone. You can say, you know, uh, no, nope, that's Siri. Um, I mean, we can do math on these things. We can do, you know, all kinds of stuff. We can see how tall is the is, is the uh, Empire State Building, and, and it comes back with an audible response a lot of the times, or a quick mm -hmm. response. It's becoming context sensitive. I always get thrown because I go to Siri and I want to ask it a question as like a featured question, but. The idea that Google, because I'm getting spoiled by Google, that I can ask a question, then ask another question, and it can string those along. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it's getting really smart about that. It is getting the scariest, closest to self-aware. I think of anything right now because it is responding to you. Well, how it's got all this information, and it's learning how to interpret that information versus how we want to it ask for that inf inform information. I think that's the real, the most exciting part of it. How does that work when you string together questions? I don't know. I haven't tested that part so much. So, because I've noticed, like with with the new, okay, Google. What would you like to search for, John? I'd like to search for iPhone 4s cases. So it strings it together. Searching Google for I'd like to search for her iPhone 4s cases. <laughs> I don't think that iPhone. worked out too well. No, but I'm talking. You use the Google app, not through Siri. You use the Google Now-ish Google app on the iPhone, and it's the same thing. It is the same experience that I see on the Nexus on the Android. So it's your general search, voice search on Android, um, which pretty much mimics the Siri idea, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you have just general voice search on a uh, Android device, can you? You can't really do things on the phone, can you? Like, does it tag the phone, or is it all, like, up in the Google services? Like, if I say make an appointment, does it go to Google Calendar? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure on here it'll just open up the calendar on the iPhone and make that all there. Right. So I, But you know what? I bet you it does it, I bet you it does it on the phone, and then because your phone, you have to sign in with a Google account, it's mm -hmm. syncing to a Gmail yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. So that so kind it, of, it's all in the cloud yeah. to begin with versus stuff on the phone. You know, like... Open the, Calendar. It opened my calendar. Like it, it, it opens the app for well, you. 
It brings up anything I have on my calendar followed by web results. So this is actually like a web page it goes to, right? No, it's... Is that, or is it... It looks like a Google... It looks like a card. It looks like it's a now card with so, with so that's, results underneath. Yeah. So versus, like, I think this with Siri is more... I want things to happen on my phone. But I guess that's really kind of the, the two different philosophies of that's up in the cloud. If we say something goes to the cloud anyways and then it comes down to your phone, you don't really live on your phone anymore. You know, much like the Chromebook, you can throw it in a river and that's fine. It's all saved. Yeah. You can throw your phone. You have no worries about your phone getting busted at this point, do you? No, not at all. Because it's all somewhere. Yeah. But, you know. but, hey, but I kind of... All, aren't, all, aren't all devices like that now? I mean, even... Well, yeah, even, iPhone's there. I, feel, I think iPhone is pretty much there. I've had to de uh, replace this device, device twice this year, and each time it's been more or less painless other than having to log into different... You should have seen Windows is getting there. I mean, yeah. I, I moved from an RT device to a different Windows 8 device. Mm -hmm. I have a buddy at work, uh, Crazy Krause on Twitter. He has no problem going from Windows Phone to Windows Phone because all he does is log in with his with his Microsoft account, devices and services, and the, man. the devices come that all his services come down. Everything's synced, even even to the even his text messages and everything else are synced with SkyDrive. I mean, it, and it's really interesting the way they've started to integrate SkyDrive across the devices as well as even the Xbox. You and that's one of the things they're saying now too is, is use SkyDrive on whatever platform you're on, whether it's Android iOS, whatever, because you let people throw pictures from a party up, mm -hmm. and then you have the Xbox set to show like a uh, um, it's smart. a slideshow, mm -hmm. and you have a live live created slideshow in your house. Wait, that sounds familiar. Isn't that what the Nexus Q is going to do? I think it might have been like one because of they are they had the thing with with Hangouts where if I like say if I invite you all all you guys to like an event for this show right now right mm -hmm. and then you guys because I've seen this happen before because we did it with the Mayhem show and it would say hey do you have any pictures for it everybody gets to upload a picture from the event and now here's everybody's pictures from the event and and if you had a queue say it could stream all of them up there right um i would I'd love to do that with like a pod camp or something or some other tech event you know we would go I, I guess you already do it with twitter i think that's the easiest way you don't have to worry about it. it's platform agnostic at this point but when they and they're 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 integrating pictures into the timeline are a lot better now than yes. they were of having yes. to click on a link to then show a picture yes. now you'll yes. actually see that exactly so. In there, so I, I, yeah, I see where you're going. Um, on the Google, this is really the Android show today, isn't it? Um, but it, it's going to be the iPhone show next year, next week, guys. Regardless, um, they're going to brighten everyone's day. Going to brighten exactly, exactly. <laughs> Can't wait for my phone to be a much brighter. Um, AJ emailed in a couple of uh, notes for this week. We'll get to Microsoft here. Actually, that should be the next big thing we hit on. Um, he, he says um, how basically Google has made all of Android modular to get around carriers and manufacturers dragging their feet. We've complained about that week after week on the show. Uh, basically, Google has ripped all the major functionality of the OS into, into various apps that can be upgraded from the Play Store. In addition, uh, there are system-level services called Google Play Services that basically runs everything on the device. Uh, the service has a terrifying levels of permissions, including the ability to grant further permissions to itself. But it's all Google, so it should be okay, right? Um, here's why, why they're doing it. Only 6% of the user base is running Android 4.3, the latest version. Everything in Android 4.3 is fairly ho-hum from an end-user standpoint. That's because Google put all of the fun end-user stuff into the various updatable apps. Google Play Services is backwards compatible to Android 2.2, which was released May 20th, 2010. This allows Google to bring new features without having to upgrade the base OS. Eventually, Android 2.x users will fade out and everyone will be 4x and then they can go through that and block out the rest See, of it. See, I think it's going to take a long time for your 
your two dot X's and your three dot X's. That's the problem. To yeah, how many? You know, you know, once in a while, when I go to Walmart, I just look at that like discount rack of prepaid phones and like what two point two point two point two point. I mean, how many? And that is the bulk of devices that's being sold is those cheap ones. Well, the interesting thing too is because I was actually looking this up for work today. We have a product that's no longer supported on Android two dot two, and how many users are running it? It was a couple hundred mm -hmm. <clears throat> out of. Thousands. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. What percentage is this for? You but guys? still, then ten percent, twenty percent. Not even. Yeah. Eh. But you're no, you're kind even. of a technologically but, persistent company. But we're BYOD. Okay. And you have those users that they buy the device. Yeah. And they use it until it it dies. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to pay for another device for themselves until their device will no longer hold a charge. Mm -hmm. I mean, those devices, I'm sure, have removable batteries. They've probably gone into their Verizon AT&T store and got another battery. Mm -hmm. They're good to go. And I think uh, those devices had um, SD cards, etc. And I think that's why you're seeing slowly over time. The other thing that's happening in the Android ecosystem, no more expandable memory. People are starting to phase that out. Notice that with the Nexus. Yeah. And, and I, I was like, oh, that would be an SD card. And I kind of got it, you know, sight unseen. And I'm like, it's the Nexus. It's the tablet. I want what Google wants me to have, much like I want what Apple wants me to have. Mm -hmm. I want to see what their idea of the experience is because that should be the epitome, right? And I'm like, wow, there's no ports on this thing. Yep. No, yeah. no ports. I mean, it, Samsung's taking that a step further. They're, they're trying to keep, keep with that capability. But you're seeing a yeah. lot of the other manufacturers start to phase out. And, and the other thing is, is the, the removable backplate with the re replaceable battery. Not a lot of the companies are doing that either. Nope. I mean, you'll, you'll have a, you'll, you'll have a couple, but it's not, I don't, I don't see it as continuing to be mainstream. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? After complaining about Apple for all these years mm -hmm. and now like, and this more higher end devices we're seeing doing this, right? Mm -hmm. So you pay more money for the device, but then you lose features. Uh, but I think it's twofold. They're they're throwing you towards the Google services. So mm -hmm. now you're gonna be you're gonna want to put stuff in Drive because you're not storing it locally. Mm -hmm. Google Play. I mean, you're gonna get your audio streamed. Mm -hmm. You're not going oh, to store I love, it locally. When the they did the Google Music Store, I uploaded my entire library. So the first thing I opened, like it was like it was like, oh, check out your library. So I poked around a bit. I'm like, holy crap, there's all my music. That was that was the first like like aha moment I had opening up that tablet mm -hmm. was as soon as I, I, I logged in. I'm like, wow, I can listen to like my entire library without doing anything. That's fantastic. Then then you get into some security issues. I could load some kind of override malware, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, but there I mean, it really is getting to the point. Well, well no, because you when, can, there is a point where you do that to yourself. You know what I mean? Like how vulnerable is the Android phone? If you don't uncheck that box to allow outside stuff. Outside stuff. I, I, well, I am completely. I think it's more from a rooting perspective. perspective. Sure, sure. If you're, I, I, we sat there and watched Fuzzy uh, after after Jens team a couple weeks ago, like rebloating a ROM on his phone while he's on his other Android phone for work and stuff. And I'm just like, I, I think he has a, a ROM addiction. Um, That's but, actually why I left the Microsoft platform because really? I had a ROM addiction. On the old um, Dell, whatever, <laughs> Dell Axum X50 whatever. And that's a Wi-Fi only device. That's not before they wow. even really got chips in them. So but it was more smart. It, it was like or... you could load all these different Windows ROMs. Yeah. And onto a handheld. And it was it was a lot at of fun point, while it at lasted. At point, we could, throw, we could throw Android on an AT&T tilt. What's the tilt? That was like their last like Windows phone. Okay. It was the 8535 like successor, the Titans, HTC Titans. Okay. Titan I remember that. Um, that. That was my first foray was playing with, uh, we, we got our hands on a tilt. I forget where we got that from. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. Uh, and then and then Missy had the actually the first smartphone in the house with uh, the 8525. So. Well, I think that's why Microsoft's gone to 35. their their rules and regulations for the new Windows Phone, mm -hmm. and it has to have their look and Isn't feel. It interesting again, like the open ended open is the way to go. Microsoft has so many closed systems these days. I agree. So, and speaking of Microsoft and their closed systems, now they own 
the makers of one of their closed systems. <laughs> um, so I, I'm still wrapping my head around this deal. They don't outright own Nokia or, or won't for several years. And it's most of, like, it's parts of Nokia, right? Like, they're owning $5 billion. Uh, AJ sent in a, a message about this as well. Uh, here's what he has to say. First up, Microsoft bought most of uh, Nokia for uh, $5 billion. Microsoft now owns the biggest manufacturer devices for their mobile OS. Okay, kind of a Motorola-type move, right? Mm -hmm. um, kind of crazy, yet has uh, been on the table for the entire time with Elop leaving Microsoft to go to Nokia. So everybody kind of smelled that, smelled that blood in the water for a few years. After getting to Nokia, he quickly made Windows Phone as the primary smartphone OS. Now he just <clears throat> architected a deal to sell the devices and services business to Microsoft, who keeps saying they're a devices and services company, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to, He says, I'd love to know if this was a pre-planned thing for Microsoft. I, I, I think say, you're giving Microsoft want, too much credit. No, 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 no. I think there's. I think despite their main guy and how he presents himself, I think there are super smart people in Microsoft and have been for years. Unfortunately, most of them leave because of the BS. The guys that made Xbox the number one platform left. The guys that retooled Windows and actually had something cool going with it, with eight. You got to admit. It was a ballsy maneuver. It was probably the right thing to do, but I think they the bottom dropped out on their presentation. Well, I think the problem with with, with Xbox and certain divisions is they they were trying to trickle out trickle out information. And if anyone's learned anything from from Apple in the last few years, it's you have to present and have a device ready to go. And your and I think Google's shown. Regardless of how long your presentation is, you have to get all the information out there. You look at the I IO keynote, wait, 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 three wait, wait, hours. Are we? Are we? So wait, did this turn into a keynote? Uh, well, no, but it, you look or? at you look at like Microsoft, and they, tr it's like they they spoon feed the media. Okay, and, and it's almost like they're trying, they're, they're trying, they're still trying to use media and feedback to gauge response. And I think they're, I think. They're still doing the same thing with the next they, version of Windows. You think they're focus grouping technology to death in their company? Yeah, well, and I think they're using the public to do Look it. Look what and happened with the Xbox. How many how many backtracks did they just do with right. it? Well, I think that's going to be one of the things that you're going to see in 8.1. I think they knew that when they gave Windows Blue 8.1, whatever you want to call it, when they gave it to, when they RTM'd it, mm -hmm. so they gave the Dells, the HPs, all the PC manufacturers now have it. Mm -hmm. They knew that was going to leak, whether it be over a torrent, people passing around disks, USB thumb drives, or whatever. They knew it was going to leak. So they're waiting for the backlash. They're waiting for the response. They're waiting for responses, and the public isn't going to get it until, what, October 18th? And they've guaranteed there will be, you turn, you power up one of those devices, there will be changes, there will be updates, etc. They're, they're waiting for those responses so they can finish a product. Because they want they want public opinion. Yeah. It's 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 not. We know it's Microsoft best for you. wants everybody to like them, but I don't think that's the way to go. And I, and they've shown where they cannot gain adoption by being strong. I mean, not that they put the start button can, back. Can I say something? Can I say something as far as the the company that wants everybody to like them and the things that they're doing and re re respond to stuff like that? Um, who likes Outlook? I, I don't know. Is, is, are, are there are there Office fanboys out there? I Can think you tell me this because I, I had an interesting experience with Office today. Chachi, I, well, you guys have to deal with it every day, right? We're not a Microsoft shop, I, but for I email. mean, and it, that we, it causes us major backlash. Yeah, but I think there are a lot of Microsoft fanboys out there. Is it fanboys or it's the thing I've been using for fifteen years? Please, God, don't make me learn something new. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I so everybody is handcuffed to this idea, and we count that as, as success within Microsoft, and that's why nobody will stand up to Office. But if you gave, if you took the Google model and build a spinoff and make it optional, build a glass, build whatever, build a bunch of prototypes. As far as Microsoft goes, yeah. As far as Microsoft goes, have you seen their R and Ds? Give, give their R and D department is tremendous. But they don't. They nothing gets out there. Yes, they don't involve people. Here, I'll use a, use an example. The ribbon in Office is horrific. What is at that? At best, you get lot. The, nothing is in where it was under file edit view. 
Okay, maybe I'm one of those users I, that's so not nice. willing to adapt to change. My experience today is they don't want your contacts to get outside of Outlook. I feel like there's some lock in there because there was like, for as many options as they gave you, it was not easy. You could do an export to PST or something, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, you can so export to get to where we needed to get it to go. It did not. Well, with work. a ribbon, I'm sure it's buried somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it was. Right. It was the stupidest place for it. It's not a logical place for something as easy as an export. Right. Like I found a, I found a version from 2007 Outlook, and it was wildly different than the version for 2010 mm -hmm. that we were dealing with today. Um, but there's that. Uh, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Um, hey, I want to touch on the this one last thing. Do you have a little bit of a show and tell uh, uh, that you were shown before the show? I have your screen up here if you have that loaded. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I do have that loaded. So what am... Oh, wait nope, a minute. that's me. Nope, that's you. It's yep, me, but I got to... Hold on one second. It's booting up. Do, 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 it's booting do, do. up. Okay, while that's booting up, why don't you explain what's going on here? What are, what are you showing off? Uh, again, for the audio listeners, they can't see that we don't have it. It's up. Okay, I'll oh, keep I it think, on. Yeah. Okay. So, so what do you have there? So I have, I've loaded Android x86, and I'm sure you've seen where a lot of manufacturers, HP, I think Lenovo is doing it. They're starting to dual boot their PCs with Windows and Android. Okay. This is an x86 build, um, and I'll provide the link out there later tonight. And it actually allows me to run Android on the x86 platform now i've loaded this in a vm because yep. i don't want to have to format a whole machine and dedicate it to running android but so now i can go into the play store wait 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 wait, oh, wait, wait. you got you, you caught me on a concept hold, hold, hold on a second hold on a second so if i wanted to i could take what an old like this lap this old laptop or something that's running ubuntu but mm -hmm. i can go and just drop android on this laptop and it will just run android and it will just run Android. How functional is that? If I took that and handed that to somebody, can they get on the internet and everything? Um, is, they could is, 100. Is that, I would guess, possible? I'm guessing they would, as long as, I'm guessing you're going to be better off with probably mainstream laptop parts. Mm -hmm. Keeping in mind, I'm using VirtualBox. I know like people with VirtualBox, okay. VMware, Let's, those types of things okay, are okay. extremely functional. When you get into, I have this network card in my laptop. As long okay. as it was like okay. the Broadcom chipset, I'm guessing it's going <laughs> to so be supported. So kind of the same idea with Ubuntu, where right. maybe it's not, you exactly. know, like like I throw I throw this in. Uh, well, this laptop I have hardwired because uh, the wireless doesn't work. Same with that one I have down there for for the chat for you guys. Um, so it, it's kind of that a concept. Like um, I, obviously the camera. It doesn't understand that I have a camera. No. So that does limit you to some things in the Play Store. Well, like, I, I can't load Vine. You, I want to give you something that will get you into Chrome and you won't get in trouble. Yes. 100%. I mean, I even loaded Hangouts. Now I haven't got a chance to really play and, with and, it. And it's... And it's it, so, so uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a diversion. But you have it running. It's in an emulator. You have Hangouts uh, we see here on the video screen. And it's the Android mobile version of Hangouts. Mm-hmm. So um, now, now you'll notice, like when I go into camera, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where's camera. It's gonna when I go into camera, it says, "Unfortunately, the gallery has stopped." You know, I I, I had, um, and you can see it's it goes to load the camera, and it's like I can't find mm -hmm. the it's hardware like, uh, camera. It's like, it's like it, I don't know what to do. Basically, the thing shrugged. Right. right? Um, so it's kind of like like I remember having. Um, the iPhone 1, and maybe you can do this with uh, 3Gs and stuff by now, but you could load Android on it. I had an early version of Android on my You could do it up iPhone. to, I think, the 3G. It'd probably the 3G as well. Yeah, the 2G and the 3G you could yeah. do it with. Yeah, um, like there's something about the bootloader that they could they could get it in there. Mm -hmm. like you might be able to do it with a 3GS now. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can do it with a 4. I might have a 3GS coming back but, to me, so I might have to experiment with that a little bit. Um, so there's a couple, there, and I'll put this in the show notes, which then I'll put on the flip board as well, mm -hmm. um, and tweet that link out. There's a, there's a couple different um, guys that do the builds. Like this is a this is an early I guess you would call it beta of 4.3, mm -hmm. and they say partially stable. I have not gone and downloaded like a 4.2 build. I may get better hardware results. Maybe it'll use the webcam on my well, my laptop. This is one of those things laptop. that somebody's working on this. You know, much <clears> like <throat> your cyanogen mods and stuff. They're probably working on drivers for this. Oh, I'm sure they are. 
because I, obviously I'm getting internet. I can get internet connectivity. I load up the Play Store, mm -hmm. and it loads the Play Store. I've loaded apps off of and this. And really, there's no reason you you you're logged in with your account. You can do everything that you could do anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and you can go get Bindle Stiffs because <laughs> Chachi recommends Bindle Stiffs. No, right I there. don't. Wait, wait, I don't know. Your face is on there, so you should probably do something about that. Where? I, he pulled up this Play Store. It showed Bindle Stiffs, and I saw your face from, from the Play Store. That's Look at that Chachi's at the bottom. Face. Is that not Chachi? Yeah, it is. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. What's you plus one it. You plus one I Bindle finished, Stiffs? I never finished watching the movie. I don't know how I plus one to anything. <laughs> So, wait, wait, so now we stumbled on, apparently we have the same problem with Google Play or Google Plus that we have with uh, with the uh, uh, Facebook store, or Facebook in general, I guess. That angers me. I wonder if I can get, I, I mean, I could probably load Netflix on this thing. I, I mean, you could load up a bunch of stuff. And it, the installs come as ISOs, mm -hmm. so you could burn them to a, you like burn them CD to a, a, or a, a USB? CD. Um, yeah. yeah, and then just load it up on a machine. As long as you can make it bootable. So yeah, that, that's interesting. Well, and that's when when you download it, you actually have to tell tell Why? your VM to Why load that you as a CD. Me, I'm completely gonna try this now. <laughs> you see the computers <laughs> lying around? I mean, I, you could be run. And this is like I only gave it eight gig of space, and I think, think five hundred and twelve mega RAM. And what are you running? It's like four something. What are the system requirements on on a Android? Oh, really? they're 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 extremely low. Like they're super low to be able to do it. I mean, obviously you're not you know at a certain point you have to have so fast of a machine Snapdragon or whatever to do fancy moving backgrounds and all that crap. But still, I tried to load it on an Intel Atom based processor. Can I throw this on a Pentium Four? Yeah. Like oh, now here's no well here's the trick. It's going to be what video card do you have? It's and it's generic not, and as long as it Intel. supports like OpenGL two something. Oh, that might be a problem. That that's where could be a problem because that's where I was running into because I had the stack of de uh, these these compacts over mm -hmm. here um, and uh, whenever I threw Ubuntu in it it would crash out the desktop. That's where you go and I'm I mean that's where you go on eBay and buy a, a five dollar ATI generic PCI graphics. Yeah, you know, I do card. have like a bunch of them sitting back. I'm there. sure you just, could. I should just toss them in these machines. Right. So I shouldn't have thrown them out. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what I recycled, guys. It's all right. Um, but, but I mean, this is where I could see now. I mean, it's to the point where I can run. I have Windows in a VM. I have Android in a VM, and it's running on my Mac OS. Mm -hmm. So I'm running three segregated environments where I can do work in this thing. I can play in this you thing. You are can be the productive. ultimate. And next thing, you're going to be running a virtual machine with Google Glass. Because that'll be all sweet. kinds of function. Have you seen the stuff where? Um, but how, how functional would something like Glass be in a VM? Oh, no, not really at all. Not really at all. I mean, I have, well, have, I have seen, Android. Have you seen where they put Android on these? They put Ubuntu <coughs> on Glass. But how what, functional how is that? Functional I can't, I, no, yeah. somebody did that just to see that I, you could do it. it. Yeah, it's one of those things you to know? see if you can do it. But I think this is more, like you're saying, find an old PC, take a parent's PC that they don't understand what they're doing and throw it That's on there. That's what I'm doing. That's the big thing because I don't want... I, I, I went home and saw what my dad did to a Windows 7 machine. I don't know how this happens, you know? I, I, I have a grandfather that, that that the Indians took over his phone and or his, his laptop and he had to pay them $100 to get it back. That whole thing we talked about a few months. You know, I want a machine that is... is, is just void of all these problems as much as possible. I know nothing's going to be completely, but I want to just be like, here, this is the least troublesome platform for you. That's why my in-laws and my father have iPhones versus Androids, because would you hand an Android device to your parents, in-laws, mother, they think it, They think it's a great like idea, this? but I'm like, you know what, you're on, if you want to do that, that's cool. If but you, you pick the smartphone, what platform would you pick? Me personally, yeah. I would hand a hand an iOS device, and but here's one of the reasons why, because a lot of my family is still stuck in the mentality of I need to use the email account that comes with my Verizon ISP. Account. Oh no! <laughs> and I keep trying to say, go anywhere but there. Go yeah. somewhere where what, if you you bounce from ISP to ISP, it doesn't matter. They're still all in that mentality. So for me to say you have to have a yeah. Gmail account to make this work, that throws, their, their heads that throws them. Okay. 
What about you, Chachi? If you had to pick one for your family, if they if they if they're in the market for a smartphone, I wouldn't. You wouldn't usually like, stay with the flip phone. Yeah, I would. You do not call me with a problem. I would not give anyone in my family a smartphone. Have you had any like anybody say, "Hey, which one should I get?" No, no, no. They go out and get it on their own. They figure it out on their own. Yeah. I would not willingly hand anyone in my family a smartphone. Okay. This. Well, what if you had to, let's say? No. <laughs> you just, no. They don't you get don't a even phone. have a selection. You don't have a, well, if you're going to do it anyways, please at least get this one. No, they don't get a phone. It's, I would rather take their phone away from them than let any of these people have a smartphone. Yeah. And, and for me, it's it's support. It's like, well, I know if I go, oh, go in settings and do this, I can follow the breadcrumbs and say do this, this, and this. Because no matter which version of the phone they have, and we have like three different versions amongst all of us, soon to be four different versions when this new comes, new one comes out, I no matter what, I can go in and say do this, this, and this. Android, who knows, right? Because they're all depending on who you got it from, Samsung, well, HTC, and stuff. Um, the keyboards it, are, it, it, it's it's the same as the difference in between versions of iPhone. Is it slight differences? You guys make it. You make it out to seem like it's like this huge maze that you're never gonna find your way out of, and you need a, an axe to break down the wall just to find a shortcut. It's not like that. It's like an iPhone. Mm. The differences in between makers is slight differences. It's the same thing as uh, going from a 4 to a 4S to a 5. It's becoming smaller and smaller changes as we go along, right? Well, yeah, now that We're it's not, refined. Yeah. And I, I yeah. see, I mean, I saw this issue in BlackBerry as well as they started to come out with new devices. Mm -hmm. The simplistic, and it's going to sound stupid to people like us, but the simplistic concept of the settings is a wrench and screwdriver in one rev and then being a gear in another and you try to tell someone go into the settings app and they're just like i can't find i can't find yeah. it it doesn't it doesn't That's, look the same anymore there was a good discussion that said probably the worst thing about the new ios and people explaining it is that the icons are going to be different right that's going to throw the when you see it you see, I think, like, the Nexus Google version of settings is the thing, and it has, like, three yeah, sliders, sliders. Yeah, yeah. Which makes sense. But then you have the Samsung that has a gear, or you have Motorola and whatever they have. Like, people don't, they they can't wrap their heads around. It's like, why do we still have, why, is why it are folders still our organization? <laughs> right. You know? That is like something that's been around for like 30 years. There's got to be a better way of thinking about it. We kind of see that with our Google Drive and say, okay, or, or our phones, whether it be iPhone or, or, or Google phone, and say, uh, okay, where's that, you know, where is this file? I don't care where it is. I just want to pull it, put it put it in front of me, you know? And, and so your your organization idea kind of breaks down depending on, uh, on how you work. Oh, uh, yeah. So I think people are still used to folders and it, it's one of those things that are. <laughs> it, hey, look I, how much they freaked out when you took away their desktop on Windows. Right. You know? You I know think if you take away be. their folders, they're going to go insane. You no, know it should be. Hmm. What are those things? Rolodex? Those Rolodex things? Mm -hmm. That's the, the contact thing. With the card on. No, mm -hmm. that should be your entire phone. Just a Rolodex. Yep. You get rid of the get rid of the men, the, uh, the apps menu. Have everything on a big <laughs> wait, Rolodex. Wait, isn't that kind of what this thing does? Yeah, but this would be cooler because then you could have sound effects and motion effects to go with it. Like you spin your, you touch the screen, you drag it down. Put that on the and Google, it goes, I won't put that on the glass community. Like turn my glass into a Rolodex on my face, complete with sound effects. But then and someone's gonna be like, "All I have is a contacts app." It's just one big. Oh, where's my? That's all I'm getting is contacts. Like, you no, know what? Your apps. You know what? Get into your apps. And that's exactly the kind of phone Chachi will. Let his family get. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been your awesome cast. Thank you, Chilla. Thank you, Chachi, for being here. Check out Chilla. He's at Chilla on Twitter. Talk with him about Android, iPhone, all that kind of fun stuff. I'm sure you're going to have some opinions next week after the iPhone announcement. I'm going to be, my day's going to be brightened. It's going to be a brighter day. They told me so. I saw on their invite. I didn't see the invite yet. Is that really the invite? Yeah. I haven't seen it Apple's yet. Apple's about to brighten everyone's day. Yeah. Click on the link real quick. And hold on. Hold on. I'll pull that up. I'll pull that up. Um, I think that's it says um, that da, 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 redirecting URL. Trying to find it. This oh, should brighten wow. everyone's day. And oh, it's no. Pretty little circles. Look at that. This should brighten everybody's day. 
<laughs> you're, you're gonna you're gonna find out how they're gonna airdrop phones free for everyone you get a phone <laughs> and you get a phone chachi's wow. at chachi says on the twitters i am always right here right there always you know if you tweet him he will what is, what do you think is your response time on twitter average depends on the time of the day what, 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 average a- average average um, if you at me, I will respond within an hour, normally. There you go. That's a good response That's time. That's not a bad response time. Considering that I have That's averaging in sleep hours. What's that? That's, that's averaging in sleep hours. Yeah, th- and that's why it's so high. I, I, if you broke it down, um, there's six hours a day I can't respond because I'm sleeping. You know, there was a story uh, in this past week about sleep texting becoming a big problem legitimately. With some no, people, no I'm just wondering, are you sleep twitty? Tweet? No, he's like, no, that's when I get more stuff done, right? No, is actually, uh, my phone is too far away from me to sleep tweet. <laughs> you you do that on purpose? Uh, my alarm clock, yeah. Oh, so you can get up, go across. That's right. I remember you talking about. I that. have um, I have alarm clock set this way. Um, that's <laughs> not it's not my phone, um, and it's it completely across because I sleep on one wall and it's on the other wall, so I have to get up. To go mm-hmm. shut that alarm off. Mm-hmm. And then my phone is usually longer than an arm's reach away. So you have, like, coordinated, you have, like, triangulated your alarm I rotate my alarm clock. area. I, I move my alarm clock position. My, my alarm clock location gets changed once every four months. There you go. And I'm at Sorgatron. What's your Twitter response time? Uh, probably not that well. Well, now it's going to be better that I got this thing on my no, face. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I wear this all the time. It's pointless. It is. Not to me, because I don't, I don't have my face to my phone most hours of the day. Uh, like you. Uh, Sorgatron.com, MikeSorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on Twitter. Which you, you just should. need this. You just need that thing, and you put it right here. Right here. There you go. We have your own Google Glass, and you can just be like, "Poof!" And I can no, you, do your you, thing. That's of all, you do. all, all of, of us, all of us, you should have your face I in mean, your phone more. Should I? Um, you want me to start listing reasons? Because <laughs> Chachi may need to get a hold of you. Reason yeah, number one: <laughs> DVD sales, um, unsung, right. awesome cast, mayhem show. And you live your life online face. more than comes I do. Comes to my do. face, man. And then it is no, it doesn't. No, the, the sales come to my face. All three Twitter accounts come to that face. Not yet, but damn it, I can't wait for they do, when they do. Um, all of your penises that are added to of, come to my face. Out of That's all the of test us, case. Out of all of us, your response time on Twitter should be the best. And it's the worst. Is it? Yes. How long have you waited for a response from me? On Twitter? Yes. It depends on the time of day. Mm-hmm. It could be anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours. I have a better chance of getting in touch with you on Gchat. That's true. Does That's that come what, to your face? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't yet. And not everyone have has access to send him <laughs> Thank Google you, chats. Riz, for proving my point uh, with, with that tweet. Out uh, of all of us, your response time on Twitter should be the best, and it's the worst in the room. I'll work on it, Chachi. I'll work on it for you. I brought you the sword explosions. I'll bring you a better response time for you. You're going to fail. Jeez. Always a positive supporter. And, uh, hey, if you got any positive or uh, Chachi-like words for us, you can hit us up at Sorgatron or at <laughs> AwesomeCast on Twitter. Contact at AwesomeCast.com, uh, Google+, Plus, Facebook. Um, we're also on YouTube and iTunes. Please uh, leave a comment on there uh, so more people can see what kind of show this is. That people, There are people that aren't bots and, and fake Asian women that are liking this. Um, thank you all. Thanks, Chachi Chilla. Great discussions today. Thank you, intern Mike, for keeping the notes clear. We'll see how you Where's do Where's my coffee? Well, he still doesn't have his coffee, so that we have to work on. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you, our, our chat room, for being hopping all night long. They got some kind of Oprah, and there's a straw what pool for movies Chachi, and stuff. Uh, so thank you. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week.
Hey guys, this week on Awesome Cast, we have so much. The Google Glass is back on my face. Chachi tells us about his final days with the device. Uh, we got a Pebble Watch in the, in the, ah, fuck, I saw a penis and it went away. <laughs>